Hello Leo, welcome to your reading. So we're going to do the he said, she says spread. This will include your perspective and whoever you are dealing with. So let's see what has been going on for, for you guys. If you have been able to ditch that player from last week or not. So let's see, one more shuffle. It will be from the 20th till the 1st of January to the end of the year. So let's see what's the past energy for Leo. Okay, I got the Nine of Swords in the reverse. That is a great energy. So you have released any stress or toxic situation that was giving you a lot of headache uh, a lot of stress and anxiety so you came out of that of that <clears throat> feeling but you do have the world in the reverse so you do still feel as if there is some unfinished business with the person that you are dealing with even though you succeeded in releasing that fear releasing that toxic energy uh releasing someone that was obsessive or was trying to keep you tight in a situation but you do still feel as if it's not completed there is still a another round to come some unfinished business that you feel with this individual so let's see what's their past issue What's the past issue for the person that Leo is dealing with? What's the past issue? Yeah, so they have been caught cheating or uh, deceiving with the Seven of Swords in the reverse. They thought that they could get away with it, but I think you called their bluff and... And they do also have the Fourth Swords, so there has been no communication. They are retreating into silence right now because they have been caught uh, doing some shady business so let's see what's the current energy too many cards current energy for leo please what's the current energy for leo what's the current energy so you do have the six of swords in the reverse and the death in the reverse so there is still a some trouble to release the past release this person uh, allow that ending to happen so you, so you are still trying to repress that um, transformation to happen you have some troubles to to release the energy, to release all the negativity that came with it, or you are just not able to have a peace of mind because you're still you're still kind of stuck in the past. You have some troubles releasing it. And but there could be also a water sign coming in for you, Cancer Pisces or Scorpio, who is trying to offer something to you, but you could be still be clinging on to the past not ready to transit all what has happened not having a peace of mind about it and it's because you feel there is unfinished business so in the energy of the person that you are dealing with there is the hierophant in the reverse so either you are dealing with a, a taurus individual or not um this could also be a queen of swords or an air side Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, but this person is being a bit rebellious. They are not doing what they're supposed to do. They may be um, allowing this commitment to come to an end, and they are trying to be very emotionally distant from you. Try to to like win over the argument uh, by calling you out too. So there is like both of you doing that so you may have done that in the past but this person is now coming forward uh to speak their their truth about the situation and being very emotionless about the situation and they do come with the three of swords so there could have been that third party as well involved and they're trying to make a firm decision about it and how to move forward with it <clears throat> So let's see the blockage for Leo, please. 
We have the Three of Cups. See, there is that blockage of the third person. Uh, the Hermit is also here. And we do also have the King of Cups reversed and the Three of Pentacles here. So there, there are a lot of threes here. So I hate to say the third party stuff, but it is what it is. Um, it's in the blockage. And you also have the Sun in the reverse, which is talking about the fact that you haven't been came to clarity about a situation you still feel not op optimistic about it you are not feeling yourself uh courageous enough uh about the situation you also have the five of cups here so you are still as i was saying a bit stuck in the past a bit uh regretful about the past about whatever has happened and you have a yeah, some troubles to look forward to brighter days, to be more optimistic. Um, you have the feeling that there has been like a dark cloud over you, which has been um, caused by this third party situation. And your blockage is the hermit. So there could be also a Virgo individual that you... Um, that was maybe the third party or if not... That could be definitely the third party, but also the King of Cups in the reverse, a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, who is not opening up emotionally. They're being emotionally manipulative in the situation. And that's why I feel they have like the Queen of Swords attitude to get over, like get above you and tell you that how they feel about the situation but they're not expressing their emotions towards you so also the fact that they're just not dedicating any time and effort to come forward about their emotions to come to a conclusion altogether about the situation so let's see what's the blockage for them yeah, they have the world in the reverse so this is a person that is leaving unfinished business and yeah and and waiting they they're assessing all the energy and effort they put into multiple people it seems like and that's why they haven't learned their lesson this is what came up the last reading for you guys as well that this person is kind of like going all over the place and not learning their lesson to be maybe more truthful and they also have a um, the Ten of Swords in their blockage, which is talking about maybe some past resentment, uh, a past betrayal that they still haven't been gotten over. So let's see the hopes for Leo, please. What are the hopes for Leo? Yeah, you have the strength in the reverse, as I was saying, you lack a bit strength, you lack a bit. Um, and now we have the sun again in upright. So we, so you lack still a bit strength, you want to be full in your power um, to handle the situation correctly. And you may be having a lot of attraction towards this person and you don't want to fall into temptation um, is, is more what that strength of course means so that could be that could be your case in this in, in this situation that you just want to regain your power back over the over this person over the situation and you want them to come forward with compassion too so let's see what they're hoping for is well they have the intentions to drop that other party uh, is what it seems like they want to be focused on one thing because they they know that it's an ongoing situation if they keep on putting in an energy and effort and not receiving because it's like planting seeds all over the place and see what comes to fruition is kind of like what I'm getting and again we have the ten of swords in the reverse so this tendency to release past drama release past issues and heal the situation so i have the feeling that this person is trying to make their way back to you and you just don't know if you can trust them and they come forward as showing you that they do want to 
drop the ball on someone else and release this. But let's see how they how you view this person in the past. It is the nine of cups and the nine of wands in the reverse, both in the reverse. So as someone who was emotionally unstable, they were they could have been having a drinking problem or a problem where they <clears throat> The Nine of Cups in the reverse is like not being in a happy state of mind and trying to act like you are single and drinking a lot in order to repress those feelings of emotions that you do need that that tenth of uh, cup that you that you need. So also with the Nine of Wands in the reverse, you saw this person giving up um not showing any perseverance in this situation to fight for you and not like not also not having the courage to to deal with the tr troubles and drama that was going on so they were running away from their problems is what you feel about them viewed about them in the past so let's see how they viewed you in the past there is the empress so I always say this to Leo, but they know that you are doing good, that you are taking good care of yourself, that you are having the good attention, that you um, that you were just on top of your game again. It's it's always comes up for you guys. I don't say it on purpose, but it is what it is. They know that you just take good care of yourself. And with the moon card here, it's like as if you, they have the feelings that you were hiding a lot from them. So as if you were getting uh, more attention from other people than that you were not telling them. So they, they, there is a lot of jealousy, especially with that moon card. Some jealousy about the fact that you were just feeling great and you were ready to to expand and to and to build a relationship with someone else as well as what they feel about you. So how you view them now, Leo? How you view them now? Again, the King of Wands. This is the same spread as the last week. Again, the King of Wands, a fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries, who is just being still the charmer, um, one that just goes after what he wants gets what he wants and is just they might now also show you some more action or uh, energy towards you but this king of wands it was the same place as last week for you guys so i guess it's still an ongoing situation with this player so let's see how they view you now, Leo? How they view you now? How does this person view Leo now? Did that change? Ooh, the King of Cups and the Hermit in the reverse. So they view you as someone who is now in control of their emotions. You are not... That's why you have that strength card in the reverse. You are really trying to hold your temptations and hold your tongue against them. So they see you, they know that you have deep feelings for them, but they know that you're doing your utter best to keep everything to yourself and be like, hold your composure against them and just try not to reveal your emotions, even though they know that you have them. And especially with that hermit card in the reverse, you, you're isolating yourself. And, and with the magician there, you, they know that you are on top of it again, that you are about to manifest whatever it is that you want to manifest, that you want it your way or the highway. So let's see the present that Sophia's for. Leo, there was a six of pentacles, so you could be fearing that there is going to be still an imbalance, that this person is going to give 
a lot of energy or effort into someone else and there's still going to be an imbalance in in this situation so there is the hierophant in your doubts and fears so you could be fearing that this relationship that was a bit off track now or now that it's over you fear that it's not gonna come together you fear that there won't be any commitment or that you will gain the right clarity that you seek yeah see the the moon in the re uh, the moon upright so you still feel that there are still secrets um that you're living in an illusion to think that this person is going to commit to you that kind of energy and with that wheel of fortune in the reverse again as if this person did not have a breakthrough uh did not learn their lessons and that uh, things will still be unchanged in this situation so their present doubts and fears please their present doubts and fears it's like an ongoing cycle between you guys you just don't know if this person is going to give you a breakthrough if things are just going to be better for uh for both of you so you have the chariot in their present doubts and fears so that could be that they have also the same fears as you have um the doubt whether this is the right path for them the doubt whether this is uh going to be successful they could be also fearing to rely on their intuition to um to allow themselves to walk their highest path um that is actually your you and your calling with them so they have a fear to again have make a balanced decision to to see things from the positive and negative side and leave everything behind to move forward uh with you this could be also a cancer that you are dealing with and another fear is the page of wands reverse so that there's still going to be some um like this this could be your energy where you just blocking the communication you are not when you communicate or if you communicate it's not in the in the most loving way it's very uh passive aggressive way so maybe even a sarcastic kind of uh communication so they they could be fearing that that is going to go on like that so let's see the outside influences for leo what's the outside influences for leo please there is the star in the reverse see this is the same energy where this person is just losing faith in the situation um they don't know or they don't want to follow their highest path which it is the two of cups though so there is definitely this soulmate connection that you guys are having but i have the feeling that see the eight of swords they want to remain stuck they don't want to take any decisions they don't want to it's like in a denial they're denying this um this energy and a lot of um zodiac are getting that i know what was it sagittarius that also had a someone that could be that leo that was trying to deny this uh two of cups so if this is so any cross watchers that are dealing with saggy and leo please drop a comment because it's it's really the same kind of energy so this person is losing faith in the situation and it's not they're not allowing the synchronicities to happen or allow the messages to come true in their about you because they are in their head they have some confusion so let's see for them outside influences for the person that leo is dealing with Whoa. outside influences so there is the sun in the reverse and the page of pentacles so 
the fact that you are not being happy about the situation, you may be trying to cut them off or as I was saying, being very sarcastic in your way of communication is for them a reason to focus their attentions elsewhere. This could be a, a, a newer earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo, but someone that they're trying to put their focus on because um, as I was saying, they're trying to run away from this, from this connection. They don't want to see the truth about it. They don't allow their their highest self to guide them towards what they need to be. So let's see your future energies, Leo. Future energies for Leo, please. You have the four of pentacles for future energies, please. Okay, you have the Four of Pentacles, the Justice in the Reverse, and the Ten of Cups in the Reverse. So, this seems like you are going to be still trying to be very fixed about the situation. You are trying to, you are going to try to hold on to, um, to what you know, what you believe, and not like you could be even. how would you say that like you you would hold on too tight about the outcome of the situation where you don't release it so there can be growth in the situation and you need to be able to let go of desired outcomes because it's not gonna make you feel happy because you're gonna feel very like someone has done you injustice that someone is not um making the right decision you're gonna feel that someone is going to need to apologize to you this could go also vice versa maybe due to whatever has happened you are going to be the one that is going to not accept uh, any reconciliation with this person and is going to make you feel emotionally unhappy about the situation so let's see what's the advice for leo so you have the eight of wands sorry eight of pentacles with the knight of wands in the reverse so what it's saying is that you need to work on your temper you need to work on your like don't um don't lash out uh, too too fast. Don't be too unreliable unre um, in your communication. Don't. That's what you need to work on, um, uh, Leo. So try to hold your composure. Don't don't embody the Knight of Wands in the reverse energy. Is your um, is your advice. So try to temper that that feeling what is the advice for god of indulgence it's all right stop beating yourself up a little indulgence indulgence imbalance is healthy so that could be that temptation where we're talking about don't beat yourself up about whatever has happened with this individual see what with this the numerology card what do you have to say yeah so there is self-discipline so this is really talking about you guys trying to hold your horses um in this case and there is perseverance so this is really talking about self-discipline more than anything What else do you have for Leo? Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? A divine passion. What else do you have for Leo? And you have sensitivity. Well, we can take this card too. Sensitivity, you are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. And that is exactly what that nine of wands in the reverse work on yourself blossoming you are getting started so have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up perseverance 
You'll have bodies of water, spend time near water such as lake, river or the ocean to recharge your batteries so you don't scatter your energy and be very hate, like restless in your energy where you say things that you may regret later. So try to hold your composure um, more, more often, try to build on that and work on that. So that was your reading there, Leo. I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you all a happy holidays and a happy new year and see you next year. Bye.